All right, today we're going to start looking at some of the uh, physics um, entities that can do things like rotate, lift. We've got motors, we've got um, ball sockets, joints, um, swivel points, all these different things you've seen throughout the game, like how did the carousel, how did they make that spin? How did the bars in the train station rotate when the player bumped into them? Um, and, and we've got all kinds of things. We've got physics motors, we've got rotators, we've got things that can lift and slide. Um, not only based on like a door type thing, but we can actually make things that have motor-like motor qualities or lifting qualities or free swinging physics qualities. So today we're going to start out with one of the simpler ones. We're going to do a uh, rotating object that's not like a rotating door but we would use this for something like um, like in this example I've got this rotating wheel here we could also use you know like rotating saw blades or if you had a a um, you know maybe like a, a big industrial generator or a ceiling fan would be a great example this is a way to rotate an object around an axis um, using this object so this is what we're going to do today, and I want you to make one example of it for today, and that'll be what you turn in. So let's take a look at it. It's pretty simple. So the first thing is, it needs to be a dynamic prop. Now, you say, how do I, how do I know if an object is a dynamic prop? So what we're going to do is, we're going to go to our entity tool, this here. We're going to go to prop dynamic. And we're going to drop an object in. Go to world model, browse, and let's say we wanted to do this saw blade right here. Okay. Now, if we click on info, you'll notice it says physics static, but dynamic is not checked. So what that means is by default, this object is not a dynamic prop. We can adjust that. We can fix that. But um, if you look up something like, say, a wheel, like that one, see how it says dynamic, or the one I'm using in the sample is what, this one? Dynamic, okay. So these are good. Anything that says dynamic, you could drop those right in with no modification, okay. But if it's not dynamic, which these all are, so these are all good. Um, but if it's not dynamic, you have to do something slightly different, which we'll talk about here in a second. So once you drop in your dynamic prop, like I've done right here or right here. So this is my prop dynamic. I'm going to name it. Now, pay attention on these settings here because the name is down here. It's not at the top where it normally is. The name for this object is down here. I named it wheel, okay? Go ahead and click apply, close that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a second one just for the sake of doing a demonstration. So I'm gonna drop in a prop dynamic and world model browse and I'm gonna go ahead and for the second example we're gonna do two kind of at the same time so for this one I'm gonna do a prop that's not dynamic and I'll show you what has to change so let's do the saw blade All right. and the name of it let's call this blade All right. now since this saw blade over here was not a dynamic prop if I try to load it in a game like this, it's not going to load. This wheel is a dynamic prop. We saw the little checkbox, so this wheel is good to go. This saw is not. So for the saw, I need to put it to prop dynamic override. Okay, and what that does is it overrides any settings it already has and, um, and allows it to uh, become dynamic even if it's not. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually create the rotator. So you can kind of see this has a little no-draw box in the center of it here. 
So for my little saw blade here, let's go ahead and make a rotator box for it. So let's move this into the game so it's not floating super high in the ceiling there. And we'll put it like right there. All right, so I'm gonna take my block tool and I'm gonna come in here and I like to make a block that goes right over the center point of whatever I'm trying to rotate, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and extend it out just a little bit so that it's more visible. And I'm gonna cover this with no draw. Okay, so I'm gonna hit enter. And now I've got this, All right? Now we're going to select that box, we're going to right click on it, tie to entity, and we're going to make it a funk rotating. Click apply, we're going to name it. So I'm going to name this, uh, let's name it blade underscore rotator. Okay. Uh, max rotation speed. This is how um, fast it's going to go in degrees per second. Um, yeah, 100 is fine. Um, let's see, we don't need to mess with any of this right now. That all looks good. Under flags, we've got a few things. We're going to start on. Reverse direction means it'll change the direction that it spins. And then we have an x-axis and a y-axis. So the default is z, okay? So the z-axis is the axis that's sort of the default direction that this thing is going to go. And z, of course, is straight up and down. So let's go ahead and run this. Or wait, we have one more step before I run it. So now we've got our box, okay? Our funk rotating. I named it blade rotator nothing else and start on All right now let's go back to the saw blade the parent of the saw blade is going to be that rotator okay so the blade is a child of that rotator right there okay now we'll run it okay and let me go ahead and Bring my game back up, reload it. All right, so there's my rotating saw blade. There's my spinning wheel. Okay, now this thing has friction on it, which we can play around with. Um, we could also put hurt boxes on it so that it damages the player if they touch it. But for now, I just want to get this thing rotating, okay? So our, our objective today is to get these things spinning then we can play around with additional things like making it hurt the player um, or start and stop and those kind of things. All right? So let's go back to the editor. All right, so let's review real quick. So there's two pieces to this. There's either a prop dynamic that you give a name to or A prop dynamic override, same thing, you give it a name. You're gonna create a brush, which you right click, tie to entity, you're gonna make it a funk rotating, give it a name, you can play around with rotation speed if you want to, we'll get to the rest of these settings later. The flags, we have start on, reverse direction, X, Y, the default is Z. Okay, so Z is straight up and down like the saw blade is doing. If you go look at my wheel, now my wheel rotates on a different axis. So if we look at the wheel, we see the wheel is on X. Okay, so that would mean this rotation is X. And if I were to go this way, this rotation would be Y. And then from above, this rotation here is the Z, okay? And it's really simple if you don't, if it's not going the right way, just go check the other box. It's not horribly difficult to figure out. All right. So that is a funk rotating, one of our many physics 
uh, enabled objects that we're going to start playing around with, things like these motors and stuff that we'll start playing around with, uh, ball sockets for making things swing, um, rot uh, hinges where we can make things hinge and rotate and spin. All right? So that is funk rotating.